Many apps use audio to create amazing experiences. Whether it's DJing, karaoke, or musical games, audio is a powerful tool for expression, entertainment, and creativity. Today, I'm going to show you how Oboe, a new C++ audio library, makes it easy to build interesting, interactive audio experiences on Android. But first, what do we mean by interactive audio? Consider this keyboard. I press a key. The keyboard makes a sound immediately. This makes the keyboard feel incredibly responsive because I get instant audible feedback. It's part of what makes playing an instrument such a joyous experience. But imagine if after hitting a key, I had to wait to hear the sound. This delay or latency would make the keyboard difficult and frustrating to play. The same applies in apps and games. Whether it's rhythm games and karaoke, DJing and scratching apps, virtual reality, synthesizers, drum machines, and other virtual instruments. All these apps share the same common requirement. They need low latency audio to provide a great user experience. And that's exactly what Oboe does. It's a C++ library which makes it easy to obtain the lowest possible audio latency on any given Android device. It works with API 16 and above, which means it's compatible with over 99% of Android devices. Under the hood, it uses A-Audio on API 27 and above, falling back to OpenSLES on older API levels. This way, Oboe provides a single, easy-to-use API which takes advantage of the new features and better performance in A-Audio while still providing backward compatibility with older devices. To get started with Oboe, all you need to do is clone the repository from GitHub. This will copy the library to your local machine. Oboe is designed to be built as a CMake sub-project. To build it, you need to update your project's CMake configuration. If you don't have an existing CMake configuration, you'll need to add C++ support to your app by following the link below. First, tell your project where the Oboe source code is. That's the path to which you cloned the repository. Next, add this path as a subdirectory and add the public headers. Finally, add Oboe as a dependent library. To have Android Studio index the library, go to Build, Refresh Linked C++ Project. Now that's done, you can use Oboe objects in your code by including the Oboe header. All objects are in the Oboe namespace, so they won't clash with any other namespaces you might be using. Now you're ready to start using the Oboe API. Check out the Getting Started Guide, the Code Samples, and the Code Lab, all available on the GitHub site linked below. If you have any problems or questions, please post them in the Issues section on our GitHub site, and we'll do our very best to help you out. You can learn more about Oboe, including how to create low latency audio streams and a high priority audio callback in the next video in the series, Making Sounds with Oboe. That's all for now, so good luck, and go make some noise. <laughs>